What's going on guys? Just want to apologize up front for the long delay in videos. Uh, the holidays and New Year's and everything kind of threw us for a loop and uh, we just kind of stayed down on the radar for a little while. I, would, I took like a week and a half off and we didn't do any loads, we just hung out. But today I want to answer a question that seems to be on a lot of people's minds, whether it's on our YouTube or Facebook, um, like the transport pages and stuff. And that's, what kind of printer do you guys use? Well, there's two different kind of printers, and I'm going to tell you about the two different ones, and their pros and cons. First, we'll start with the mobile printer, it's called. Um, the mobile printer is, like, the most expensive printer you can buy. Um, the cheap, cheapo ones are, like, 200 and it just kind of goes up from there. Uh, the benefits are that they are exactly that. They're mobile. Um... Some of them you can charge the battery, so you don't even have to plug it into a wall or an outlet at all. You can use it just on the go. Um, and they're compact portability. They're very thin, and, and uh, you know, they don't take up as much room in your car or truck or wherever you are. You can pretty much fit them in like a small school bag or something. Now, um, I, I didn't want to spend that much money, especially in the beginning, because, you know, I already had to invest a lot of other money uh, getting into this profession. So... I tried to stay on the cheaper side, and what I did was I bought a regular full-size printer. Ugh. This is an Epson XP446. I got this at Walmart. It was 50 bucks. Um, it is not one of the most expensive printers at all, by any means. Uh, it comes in black and, and color, so if you need to print stuff in color, which you really never do, but uh, if you do, it's there. Um, it's about a foot and a half wide and about a foot in length, and... Um, it takes up a little, yeah, it takes up a little bit more room than a mobile printer, but I just shoved mine in the back seat or in the trunk, and it's out of sight, out of mind. It really doesn't take up too much more room. Plus, it's 50 bucks compared to, like, $250, $300. Um, and then to power it, since I'm not always in hotels when I want to print stuff, I bought one of these. Oops, let me turn that around. And this is an Everstart Plus power inverter. Now, you can plug this either, you can connect it right to the batteries of your car, which you don't really won't do, Excuse me, or you can plug it right into the DC outlet in your car, and you get up to 400 watts of power. Uh, this comes with a one-year warranty. You got that at Walmart, 30 bucks. Um, so here, let me pull that out, and I'll show you guys exactly what it comes with. Okay, so right out of the box comes like this. Um, these won't be connected when you buy it, so you just connect the red to the red, the black to the black. Uh, and then on the front right here, you have two US, uh, two USB ports, so you can plug your phones in or whatever you need, and then two 120 volt outlets. So you can plug your printer in, you can plug, um, if you have a small TV on the road, coffee maker, whatever the case is, uh, you can plug it in. On the front, it'll tell you how much power you have left to use and how much you're using at the moment with the current appliances plugged in. Uh, it has an onboard fan to keep it cool while it's in use. Some people keep them plugged in all the time. I don't, I just plug it in whenever I need it. And that's 30 bucks. So my total investment on my printer set up right now, oh, and I bought an extra ink. Um, so I it was like... I want to say like $15. So my total investment is right around $100 for my uh, inverter, my printer, and my extra ink. And I bought a tiny packet of paper. This isn't a full size. Uh, it's, it's very thin. But it's still, this has 200 sheets. So, and most of the paperwork you print is at the most like four or five pages. Half the time it's only like two or three pages. So, uh, But yeah, that is the printer I use. I just kind of wanted to update you guys, fill everybody in. I recommend it. I don't have a problem with it. Just like every other electronic or anything you ever buy, the reviews are good and bad. You know, you just kind of have to buy it for yourself and feel it out. And always keep the receipts so you can return it if it's not for you. Yeah, Walmart's pretty good with their receipts, uh, with, with their that. returns. Yeah. 90 days. Uh, actually, electronics might be a little shorter. Electronic, yeah, I know, Cody. Electronics <laughs> might be a little shorter. It might be like 30 days. Oh, Cody, excuse the me. horse on TV. <laughs> Um, 30 days. But anyway, they're pretty good about returns. If you have a problem, or you can always go to the manufacturer. They have a, like a one or two year warranty. They'll probably just swap it out for you. But we have no problems with this printer at all. It's yeah. great. And it, oh, and uh, it connects, <clears throat> excuse me, it connects right to my phone. So you don't need, like, like some printers you need to connect the printer to the Wi-Fi and then your phone to the Wi-Fi and then it, it sends it over the Wi-Fi and sends it to the printer. This, where the phone connects directly to the printer. And you can use Apple or Android. Uh, so it doesn't really matter what phone carrier you have. And it's very easy to install. There's one app. Uh, and then you print right away. It's a, it's a pretty quick printer. I print my pages out in probably two minutes, maybe less. Uh, so highly recommend it. I will drop a link to it below. 
unfortunately i can't say i get paid if you buy it um but if epson wants to sponsor this video or any others in the future feel free you can send me some stuff uh that's about it just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on the printer yeah. it's really good i recommend it especially if you can't spend 300 dollars on a mobile printer yeah um, but yeah, that's about and it, guys. I just want to say hi to all our new subscribers and thank you for deciding to follow us on our YouTube page. Yeah, we got a pretty big boost in subscribers. That was yeah. awesome. Like the last week and a half, I must have got like, like what, like 10, 12 subscribers. Yeah. Maybe. We're pretty happy about that. So if you we haven't already... have big news in the future. We're not going to say it right mm. now. But definitely, if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. That way you guys know what the big news is going to be. Yeah. yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, Hit that subscribe button and uh, make sure you hit the little bell so that every time this new face comes up, you can click it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, if you have any questions about the printer or anything about the RV transport business that I can, you know, answer for you, which I'm not gonna say I know everything, but it's, you know, I know quite a bit. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, uh, drop a question below or a comment or just say hi. <laughs> yeah. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.